So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to take a look at a pair of shoes that is by Skolex, uh, which is a, a brand out of Norway, but these are made in Spain. And uh, what what I what I like about Skolex is that they are a great contrary approach uh, to the market that Miriman is in. So this is solid tier four. Um, I think these retail at 229 bucks. And so I wanna talk about what makes them a good shoe for that price point and why generally in my collection, I try to stay away from that price point. Not because uh, they're not good shoes, but because I prefer uh, better shoes, okay? So um, first, let's let let's talk about manufacturing, right? Um, I, I, they're made in Spain. I think they're by Yanko, but I don't know. Um, and uh, the, uh, the, the shoes themselves, the stitch density on the uppers, um, you know, I think that that's five on the upper. Um, yeah, I can count the holes better than actually seeing the stitches the way they've got this done. So let's say one, two, three, um, which is actually good on the, on the sole stitch. This is, uh, they make a rubber sole. Now, now this is something that's interesting about Skolex, right? They, all of their shoes have a rubber city sole. And so this is a way that they're able to achieve scale because they make it simple, basic. Look at that heel, right? This is a no frills shoe, right? That they're able to produce because they keep it simple. They use the same sole on all their shoes and then they choose upper leather. This is a, uh, a country grain or a pebble grain. Um, and they, um, they have the same lining, I think, on each of their shoes and, um, you know, they, they, you know, your, your same eyelets on each of your shoes. And, uh, you know, the, the big difference is going to be the pattern, the last and the, um, the upper leather, right? Now this upper leather is, um, a pebble grain. Now, the reason that I would probably not choose this again, I bought these specifically to compare to another shoe. That's, that's why I bought them. But the reason that I would probably not go for this brand again, especially with this pebble grain, is this feels cheap. It really does. Uh, I think that the upper leather is thinner um, and it feels, even though it's not brittle, okay, and I wanna be very, very clear about this, it feels like it's, it's probably a strong leather. It just feels kinda crackly is is the only way way to describe it and it's just it's just very thin now um you know i compare that to Meerman, um which is the same price point and their leathers are much um better now um the heel counters on these um the overall heel the way that it breaks in is much better than Meerman. so catch 22 uh if you can wear the shoe um sooner that might be better um but i do prefer the leather quality at Meerman. Um, to the leather quality uh, on this shoe um, from Skolex. Now let's talk about the, the pattern itself. This is an American long wing pattern, uh, also called a gunboat. They have a really nice uh, medallion on the shoe. Um, they did pull it tight over the last where the pebble grain um, can be polished here. So I will probably do that. And um, the, the long wing itself, it's a nice, nice pattern very clean good lines it's a round last but also not an exciting one you know i have a lot of long wings i think i have 16 pairs of them so i've seen a lot of different ways to do this shoe design and i'm gonna say that uh this is not inspired but not terrible i have a few uh, long wing uh videos where I actually pull them all out or I pull a number of them out and compare them. And I'll do that with these as well. So you get to see how they stack up to some of the others, but it's, it's a solid shoe. Okay. It's a good shoe. And listen, if you're, you know, right out of school or, you know, you're, you're in a position where you need one pair of dress shoes that you're going to wear <laughs> three or four times a year, these are fantastic shoes. They're not expensive. They will last a long time. And uh, if you take care of them, uh, they're they're perfectly fine. Um, you know, you don't need to have a luxurious feel to your shoes because they're only shoes, especially if your wear is like that, you're not even going to be wearing them the whole day. Now, I have to wear my shoes for, you know, especially when I travel, sometimes 20 hours a day. 
I have a different expectation of, of what I need in that shoe. Uh, but for the casual wearer that's not going to wear them a lot, these are pretty darn good. So that's my thought on this pair of Skolix Long Wings. What's your experience with Skolix and uh, what do you think? Was I fair? I hope I was.